this phone, bro, can do incredible things. It can go on Facebook, you can go on Twitter, you can go on Instagram, you can take a photo, you can record a video that can change the world by the grace of God. You can do amazing things. You can WhatsApp someone. My, 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 my cousin is currently a pastor by the grace of God in Germany. I can text him via WhatsApp and send a text from South Africa to Germany. This phone can do amazing things, can do great things, can do phenomenal things. It can actually also call. It can also send a text message. It can do awesome stuff, email, so many amazing things. This phone is also expensive. It's expensive. Then my brother with the iPhone 11 over there, uh, the guy that you met on Tuesday, I'm pretty sure the phone goes for over 10,000 bucks. 20. Okay, so we're looking at 20,000 Rand over there in someone's pocket. Okay? But how many of you, oh man, listen, I love it. How many of you in this room know that if this phone is flat, if there's no battery, it's flat, cannot do what it's supposed to do and it's absolutely useless if we all agree do we all agree okay it can't do what it's supposed to do this phone was not designed by apple for it to be like a cute decoration when you're having a bride and you put this and you put a candle on top it's not supposed to be a decoration all right it's supposed to communicate that's what it was designed for to be able to communicate but when this phone is flat it cannot do what it's supposed to do you guys with me how many of you over here by a show of hands you remember the phone Nokia 3310? Just raise up your armpit, let me see you. Okay, okay, next question. Now we're about to see how mature you are, okay? Next, next question, how many of you played Snake or Space Impact on that phone? Just raise up your armpit there. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. How many of you played more Snake than you were actually calling people? Raise up your armpit. There we go, there we go. Now we know who's immature. I'm <laughs> All right, so now then let's do this play a competition here. All right, here's iPhone 10. Why you get a four and forty-five pound iPhone 10? Okay, and then on this side over here, we got way in at six thousand tons. We got the Nokia 3310. But this one over here, the iPhone 10. All right, iPhone 10 is flat, no battery. Nokia 3310, fully charged, bro, fully charged. My question is, who's winning between the two? It's not. It's not a trick question. <laughs> Who's winning? Who's winning between the two? <laughs> Nokia. Nokia. So my question: why, why, What's the reason that Nokia wins? Why does Nokia win? Ah, oh, come on! Can we give my brother a round of applause? There we go. Because it can still do what it's supposed to do. You can still communicate. It can still do what it's supposed to do. The iPhone 11, bro, can't tell It's time. It can't do what it's supposed to. Do. So now a Nokia 3310 is winning. But if this phone had to be charged. This is the Nokia 3310, who's winning? <laughs> they both winning? My phone. I, iPhone is rocking Nokia 3310 over there. It's not, not even a, it's not even a match. Alright? So many of us, even in this very room here, we like the iPhone 10. You can do great stuff, you can make money, you can do all these amazing things. But you flat. And now what happens is you end up being dominated by a Nokia 3310. And that Nokia 3310 is like, you know, like in those Chinese movies. Chow, 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 chow. Hitting it, you end up. Because we're not charged. Because we're not plugged into what God is busy saying. We're not listening to what God is busy saying. Because if I can know what my father is saying, oh man, bro, it's, a ga it's, it's game over for the devil, bro. Game over. If I know what God is saying. But many of us, we don't even know what God is saying. We're like, but God doesn't speak to me anymore. The Bible on your nightstand has got dust on it. Open up the Bible. Ask God, God, please speak to me. I don't know anymore. Speak to me. And I'm telling you right now, He's going to talk to you. Because why? He loves you. And He's got plans to prosper you. Not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. 